All right, welcome to my tutorial, and today we're going to be making throwing knives. Now, to get started, you're going to want to have to model a knife. Once you've modeled your knife, you're going to have to want to make a hitbox for it. So take a part, stretch it out to the approximate size of the knife. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger if you want a combat based game. And make this, make sure the top of the knife, sorry, make sure the uh, front side of the knife is facing the way you want it to be because you're going to be throwing this knife forwards. Now to check the front side of the knife you go into the properties and find and you can find this property inside the properties folder. Okay so from here you make the hitbox transparent you name it specifically knife hitbox and you insert this into the knife so for how many ever things you have inside the hitbox you're gonna want to weld them to the main part keep in mind this is necessary once you're done make these non can collidable and massless same with this one except make sure the hitbox is anchored and not can collide now put this in replicated storage and we can get started with the code to get started insert a local script into starter character scripts from the local script I'll just code this and tell you how everything works when I'm done done write all of this down and make sure script.knife event is fired uh, basically what this code does it gets the player with all the variables gets all the animations hold on once you're done copying this code down I'll explain uh, these are the, all the variables that we need for the code and once you click your mouse if the cooldown is at false Then we make the cooldown true wait one second for the cooldown and make it false again From here we fire the event on the server side. We need the we need the server side. So everybody sees What you're doing because if it's on the local side only you see it. That's what local means and What you're gonna want to do is make sure the throw sound effect has a sound effect I'll just I'll find one right now from the toolbox okay this one's good copy the ID paste it into here And make sure the roll off max distance is set to 100. Or else everybody will hear your knife. Okay, now we're going to start animating the knife. If you want to animate like me with only one hand, you're going to want to set everything off except the right arm and the lower torso OK, 
Okay, once you finished your animation, you have to export it and name it whatever you want and set the creator to you. Now you have to copy this ID and once you're done copying the ID, you paste it in the knife animation slot. Now we're done with everything that we have to add in the game. It's just the code that's left. Now follow along with the code and I'll explain it after. Okay, it looks like I made a little error. You have to load the animation over here and make sure to wait for it as well. And then we play the animation right here. Okay, let's test. Go to anchor it. Okay, now that we're done coding, I'll explain it. This is tween service. To, to basically, what tween service does is it allows you to make animations based off this service. And then when the event is fired, as seen on our local script, um, the we define the head and the sound, we put the sound in the head, we play the sound, and we delete the sound after one second with game.debris. Right here, we clone the knife, we put the knife in the workspace, we set it to the humanoid's C-frame, or the player's C-frame, uh, which is the position, um, plus uh, five studs uh, in the direction that they're looking. And then we animate it with tween service, 65 studs. Now we need to make it disappear. We'll make it disappear after three seconds because that's how long the animation is. Okay, let's test and see if it works. Click. Oh, we got an error. Oh, I see. That's not how you use that. Okay, we fixed the C-frame issue, and we need to play it as well. Now we test our thing, and it might work. Yep. I'll, we just need to make this a little faster. 150 should be good. Okay, basically how the damage works, uh, if it, the knife is if the hitbox is touched, uh, this is the event for the touched. If the thing that hit it has a humanoid in it, and the thing isn't our character, and uh, it wasn't already triggered, then we proceed to this, and you take 30 damage. This part can be changed. Okay, let's put our dummy closer to the spawn and test this. Here we missed. Looks like it's not working.
Okay, the issue was that the knife needed to be not anchored. Sorry about that, guys. Now you can see that the knife hits the humanoid and does damage. Thanks for watching the tutorial and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Bye.